Hi everyone, my name is Abby Ogunlade. I am a senior consultant at MIGSOP Cubed. I am currently working for a oil and gas client um, as a delivery lead. So a delivery lead um, works with the project and program managers to support the de delivery of their project, helping them focus on things like keeping to time, to budget, and to ensure that they deliver the best quality as possible, as well as partnering with them during um, the issues and the risk analysis phase and finding the best course of action. I studied maths and statistics um, in Goldsmiths University. I've always been very, very analytical. I really like the nitty gritty and the details. And because of that, I was a, became a business analyst and I just assumed that's the only place for the type of person who I was. Over a period of time and managing smaller projects as a business analyst, I realized that my skills could actually be very useful for, uh, as a project manager. So working as a delivery lead, I'm able to spot things and notice things that people may have missed. I need to understand the full flow, the full picture. I think my strongest skill uh, being a project manager is definitely stakeholder engagement. One of the things I really like to do when I'm starting off a project is analyse how I'm going to work with the stakeholders, what they like, what type of information you need to provide to them. I like to speak to them in their own language and make sure I deliver that way. So having a partner and definitely working with stakeholder engagement, I think is definitely my biggest quality and the thing that I focus the most on when we first had to do the lockdown, I found that was the most stressful period because they were getting used to the process and I was also getting used to it. And our, our, our responsibilities didn't diminish, you know. The most difficult challenge for me is the balance because you want to be supportive to your children as well as um, your role. And that I find um, is, is very difficult to strike. So it's just trying to find the balance of how to give your all to each individual at that point in time. Being a woman, you're generally told to do everything. So to me, being a woman project manager is just being a woman, really. It's, it's what you have to do every day. And you just need to know how to play what part at what time. And having, you know, a list of tasks, a list of actions, a list of expectations, what the final outcome should be, and that vision of um, what you're delivering at the end works in every single uh, area of, of life. I have managed um, teams um, globally as well as in the same environment we have, but it is slightly different in the team lead role in MIGSOP Cube because you're not only managing the team, but you're also managing the client relationship and being able to support that. So that has definitely been, been very interesting and a great learning curve. My focus and passion for being a team leader is just to ensure that people, first of all, achieve what they want to achieve. I love to give them the skills or connect them with people who can give them that support and help in order for them to achieve that. My biggest passion at the moment is um, some of the projects that I really hope to achieve later in, uh, in Nigeria. So I'm originally born and raised in the UK, but my parents, a Nigerian. We have a few projects at the moment to work with companies to kind of best manage their activities. So for me at the moment, those areas are keeping me really busy. From the very day I did my interview, I knew that MIGSOPQ was slightly different in the fact that I felt it was a big community and a big family. From all over the globe, I thought that was really encouraging. That's just like you've got this big network of supporters that are looking for you to, to succeed. You're the leadership team, they literally do believe in you, they invest in you and they try to support you, right from your engagement even to your personal challenges. So. What I really love about being part of MIGSOP Cubed is feeling like I've just extended my family.